In this video here, we're going to take a look at how we're going to do update counting, specifically apples with the Autolytics YOLO 11 model. We both need to combine updateation, tracking, and then also a trip line where if it crosses that, we're going to count it. So this is an example where we have apples running on a conveyor belt and we want to basically just count how many objects or apples are passing that line in a production setting. So if you just go straight into the Autolytics documentation, we can see we have this object counting tab. So when we go in here, we can see we have Google Colab notebook that you can spin up directly. We can do class-wise object counting. We have a video covering all of that if you only want to detect specific classes. So these are some of the solutions that we have out of the box. It's just a few lines of code. So this is similar to what we're going to do. It's just apples running way faster on a conveyor build. So this is how we can do the optic counting. We just have the solutions tab. We can specify count. You can do it in the command line and also in a Python script. I'll show you how to do it in just a second. Here's all the different optic counters, tracking arguments, the different arguments that we can set to the functions. But if we go inside the GitHub repository as well, we have this optic counting using YOLO 11. All these different notebooks are available under Autolytics and then notebooks. So how to do optic counting using Autolytics, you can use your own models, pre-trained models, any of the models supported with Autolytics. So if you just go inside the Google Colab notebook, it can spin it up here. You can use the exact same code here or in your own local environment, which I'm going to show in just a second. But it's the exact same code. We just need to pip install Autolytics, set up our video that we want to process, and then take a pre-trained model or our own fine-tuned version. So in this example, we're going to have a fine-tuned model that we have trained on a data set to count apples. You can use any annotation tool and train it with Autolytics. We also have some videos about how you can annotate your own objects automatically. So yeah, this is pretty much everything. We can now go inside cursor and I have my script up and running here inside my notebook or inside my code editor. Let me just zoom in a bit so you guys can see what's going on. But we're basically going to have a video here that I'll pull up we have all these apples running in a production setting, but it running down this line here, we have four lines running, and then we want to count how many apples are act like getting in. So this is very useful in industrial settings and it can be used for pretty much any type of object. You just need to train your own model on top of it. So yeah, let's just go in here first. We have our solutions. You can do the exact same thing in Google Colab Notebook to have free GPU resources in there available. But first of all, we need to specify our video path. So let me just grab this video and throw it into our directory. Let's rename it. So we'll just call it Apple Video. And now we're going to specify the path. Video.mp4. We check if it's act like available or we can open up our video file. This also works on a webcam. So if you just specify zero here, it's the same as a webcam. Now we need to specify our region points. So you need to go in and find this for our line counting as we saw inside the documentation. Then we can get our width, height and the frames per seconds for our video. We need that when we create a video writer so we can write out the results. We can both see it while it's while it's actually like running the inference, the tracking and the object counting with our show parameter down here. But we also want to save a video with the results. So then we can go inside solutions, autolytics. You can read more about what types of solutions we have inside the documentation. So if you go in here, we have all these solutions available, update counting, update cropping, blurring, workout monitoring, counting specific regions, wish and speed estimation. All these here are available directly from autolytics import solutions. You just need to make a few modifications and you have it up and running on your own project. So we create an instance of our solutions.optic counter. So we have an optic counter. We want to display the output while it's running. We have our region. So that will be our region points. Could be a line, could be a specific region that it needs to pass. We also use this for counting objects within specific regions for the other solutions. Now we need to specify our path to the file. So I have another file here where we basically just have fine tuned on apples. Let's just call it apple model. You can go back into our script. So this is just the PT model, apple underscore model, the line width here. So this is just for visualization purposes. If you want to count specific classes, we can sort it by this way here or basically filter it. Could be that you're using a Cocoa pre-trained model and you're only interested in like cars and person. 
sections, then you can fill it with a zero and a two. The tracker, butt sort, you can also use byte track. You can fine tune the tracker inside the email file, but the default parameters works pretty good. Show in and also show out. So how many counts are going in and out? Right now, we just want to count how many are passing a line, but could be a traffic signal that you want to basically detect if cars are going in and out in specific lanes and do some traffic monitoring on top of that. So now we just process a video. We have a while loop opening up our video capture or a webcam. We load in an image and if it's not successful, we're just going to break and tell, tell the system that, okay, video frame is empty or the processing is pretty much complete. We have ended the video file. So now we just throw image into the counter, we get our results back and we can do a lot with the results, either extract the bounding boxes, all the information or our image with our processed frame. So this will be our visualization that we can just write to our video writer. So now we have everything here. If you run into any problems, make sure that you upgrade the, the installation, so upgrade Ultralytics. If you're running into any problems, you don't have access to the newest models or some of the new stuff inside the documentation, make sure that you're up to date. Now we can just go in and run our Apple counter script. .pine, and it should basically just grab our model that we have specified and also the video path. So now we can see that we got an error reading this video file. Make sure that I actually like spelled it correct. Apple underscore video. We missed it here. So that's why it's good to have this assertion. There we go. Should be good to go now. So it's reading in, we can see the output here, we're both showing in and out. So we might need to do some filtering or specify a whole region instead of just the line. We get some output detections or out detections. We shouldn't really get that, but we can count how many apples are actually passing this line in our in counter. This is very useful in a lot of industrial settings. Again, if you just run it again, take a look at the results. It's pretty much impossible to count this by yourself and could be production lines where it's running even faster. You need higher speed cameras and so on. We cover that in some of the other videos on the channel, but this is very important. If you just want to track and count objects, you could even have like a counter over here. We can see that it's able to detect all the apples. So you can have an additional line over here with an object counter as well very fast could go even faster and we'll still be able to go in and detect the apples update detection update tracking on top of it it's very important that we have the time information so we don't get duplicate detections count and so on so that's very important to take into account and make sure that you use that you can choose some tune some of the parameters if you want better results but most often you can use it directly out of the box so this is what you can get with the ultralake solution Go in and test it out, check it out. It's really easy to get up and running in your own projects and applications. Train your own model, take your own videos, try it out, and then I'll just see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy learning.